Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Resolution, and yes, I am back. Now I had to take some time off. There was a, there was a few personal things I had to take care of. Some life just got ahead of me. So now I'm back. We're playing another game of the humble bundle of the June 20 or July 2024 humble bundle, I should say. Uh, still currently available. Hyper Violent. It's an old school RTS. Oh, sorry, not RTS. R First person shooter, FPS, I'm, I'm mixing up my letters, FPS. It's an old school FPS from the 90s, it's great apparently. It's got tons of great reviews, it's still in early access, but it should remind people, especially those who are born in the 90s and early 80s, um, yeah, remind them of some good old school fun from back in the day. Hyper violent. Now apparently we're on we're stuck on some sort of mining asteroid and something's gone horribly wrong. So here we are. We're here to investigate what's gone horribly wrong with an array of weapons and mechs and a whole bunch of other stuff. Early access content update something. Let's go. Let's start a single player game and load a new game. Done. Level one. But ooh. Oh, wait, what? Select starting level. That's interesting. It's interesting that we've got level 6 and unlocked. But let's start with the personnel level. Let's start with a... Ooh. Alright, let's do a normal normal mode. I'm not sure how hard this game is. And we'll just have to wait and see. Loading in. Beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Okay. There we are. The mining asteroid. Now, it does hold... It, it's, it's somewhere in between like a good old 90s graphics and the early 2000s 3D graphics. Nilium. Was it me or did that asteroid just stalk? Okay, the asteroid doesn't look that big, to be honest, from the outside. Can't imagine there's six levels to the asteroid. Precious materials, mine, nine. Approximate depth, 3.7 kilometers. That does not look like 3.7 kilometers. Like I said, it's a good mix between 90s 2D graphics. Look at the sprites and everything. It looks amazing. And as well as the early 2000s 3D graphics, you know. I'm talking oh, probably even not early 2000s, late 90s 3D graphics in some cases. It's been spruced up a little bit. It's been spruced up. I'm playing this on 1440p just like I do with every other video game out there. So, um, it does look pretty good on the 1440p monitor, to be honest. Oh, you know, here we go. Through the grate. Over here. Oh, voice acting. Great. We've got voice acting. Oh, the sprites are pretty cool. Yes. This is it. Don't take off your helmet. This is space. Never take off your helmet. Hey, buddy. I think that thing just stopped you. Oh, no. It's, it's even worse. It's turned you. Okay, well, that happened. That was a thing. A little expose. I don't know what just happened, to be honest. Cockpit controls. Press E to raise glass. Commodus personal distress bay. Okay, wait. Are we in some sort of ship? Cockpit class disengage. Glass disengage. Okay. Ah. 
citizens of this vessel are not well. They are behaving uncharacteristically violent. Oh! <laughs> that has to be the quickest anyone has ever died in this game. So, do not punch. I repeat, do not punch, punch the Nihilium gas canisters. It is uh, detrimental to your health. Do not. Whatever you do, do not punch the gas canisters. Apparently, by punching the gas canisters, they explode. Your punch is just that powerful. Alright. Raise glass off the cockpit. Oh. Just gotta twist my hands back on. The breathing's really throwing me off. Look at that. Just the movement for the breathing. Welcome aboard the IEC Commodus Asteroid 27C. It appears your passenger vessel was damaged upon docking with the station. Okay. You have come here to investigate the hailing frequency, I presume. Yes, I think. Can we lift stuff? To navigate, use the WASD keys on your keyboard. Press E What's in here? Oh, lag. If you have a weapon equipped, use the left mouse button to fire your left-handed weapon. And use the Scrap right mouse button pipe. to fire your right-handed weapon. Ooh. If you do not have a weapon, you can perform a series of punches. Aha. Uh -huh. Nice, we got a steel pipe as our first weapon. Okay, so let's just listen to how we do other things. So, looks like we've got a computer and a disembodied hand. Manifest. Ooh. So that's us. Oh, nope, nope, nope. So view manifest. Where's my hand? There you go. Call sign Abtalob. Co Coalition trade. Okay. Cures. Cries. Tourism. Equinin. So that's audit. Spoonman. Training personnel. Base as Last door closed. Okay. And logged out. Done. Just a little terminal. I wonder who let us in. If everyone's a little bit violent, I wonder who really let us in. Uh, is there another door here? Uh, this door is locked. And my pipe is now slightly bent. Baylight switch. Oh, look at that. We can now see our surroundings. Hey, yo. Okay, it's pretty cool that some of the switches all work. And apparently to open sliding doors, you got to press your, up your, ha your hands up against it and push them open. Okay. Well, that one's automatic. So we got a health vial. Nice. Press H to use. I wish there was a bit more light. This game is really dark, and apparently we do a... As we uh, try and jump. Okay. Can we move this? Is that a thing? No. We're here. Can I jump up there? No. What's going on? What is this place? Let me in. Oh my god. Okay. Can I... Can't open that. Am I doing something wrong? Why can't I jump? Something's preventing me from jumping up there. Which is weird. Okay, let's go leave that for a sec right there. Is there something behind here, perhaps? Can I move stuff? Is that a thing? Hang on. Oh, wait. Inv inventory. We need to open our inventory. Uh huh.
Why can't I get up here? There must be something going on. Hang on. Kind of wish I could move some of these boxes. Can I? Can I push them? No. Okay, we've done we've done the tutorial. We've done that bit. Actually, let's move this. Oh, my mouse is a little bit fast. All right, so we can climb up here. But we can't get past. And for some reason, this thing is not letting me through. And I'm not sure why. Is there a switch? Do I need to press something? Is there a thingamabob that I need to press? And it's not letting... There's something stopping me from jumping up there. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. There's really something stopping me from jumping up there, which is annoying. Can I activate this from here? Is there a switch? Alright, looks like we're already stuck in the first level of the tutorial. This is great. I love it. I love it. I don't know what's going on. Hang on, let's go back. Let's head back. I think there was a door back here somewhere. Where's the door? There we go. This is a different door from the one I came through, I think. Oh, hello. What's this? Flashlight. There you go. Now I can see. Oh, this is so much better. So, so much better. We're not going good to go there just yet. Oh. Okay, that's locked. So it looks like I kind of have to go there. I don't, re I don't really want to, but let's go back here and have a look around. Okay, so we came from there. Now I see. Now I see. We were not meant to... There's glass. Ha! <laughs> there's glass. Hang on, there's a... Oh my god, there was a light switch all along. There was glass. No wonder we couldn't jump up there. I see. Okay, we are such a spaz. <laughs> Looks like we're going here. This reminds me of Vice or a cleanup detail. That was an airlock? That could have been... Bad. Oh. I do like this thing where the whole body tilts. Or the camera tilts when you turn left and right. Um, kind of want to help him. But at the same time, I kind of don't. Bullets. Nice. If only we had a gun. Alright, so it looks like I can't use my, my right hand for now because I've got a flashlight there. Another health file. Let's see how... Help? Hang on. How is he deceased? His legs are literally moving as... Okay, hang on. Oh, it is what it is. Okay. Unknown, unknown, unknown. Right click an item. Okay. Gun. Let's retrieve the item. That is bad. Let's put the gun in the pipe the pipe hand. Okay, let's move the gun into the pipe hand. And I'm kind of fearful as to as to what will appear. I think the gun was the only thing holding him up. He's sort of slumped over now. Let's have a look. We've got another terminal log. We've got an advisory log, an ac access public net, whatever that means. Welcome to the Commodus where the future thrives. I don't think the future's thriving very much here. Let's have a look. Biannual safety briefing. Even with the regular maintenance and monitoring of potential hazards, it is still mindful to have a second pair of eyes trained to look for hazards, especially when multiple crews are utilizing the same space. Every six months, the crew is asked to method methodically scan the entire interior of the IEC Commodus. This safety scan is reviewed by a th team of ground-based engineers for key items. Emergency Inertia Guidance Protocol, e EIGP Mark of Visibility and Condition, Emergency and Critical Equipment Accessibility, Fire Port Accessibility, Precious Materials Management, Clear Hatches and Presence of Drag Thoroughs. What's that? What are Drag Thoroughs? Drag th dr drag throughs. Ugh. Clear Ventilation Path, Clear Translation Path, Thank you for doing your part. Safety first. Okay, well, great. With the solar minimum behind us, we expect the sun's activity to ramp up towards the next pre 
predicted maximum in August 2278. Solar cycle 78 is anticipated to be as strong as the last solar cycle, which was a below average cycle, but not without risk to external crews or underprotected surface assets. This is especially important to consider when docking and receiving passenger ves vessels. More information will be provided as it becomes available. Oh. That's kind of weird. Looks like we can't we can't access the internet either. So, huh. We kind of don't know where to go now. But uh, perhaps we've unlocked something. I'm kind of hoping we have. Kind of really hoping we have. I don't think picking up a gun would have made... Oh, crap! I shat my pants. Holy heck. What? That was the same guy. Health file. I'm at full health, but holy heck, I shat my pants there. Okay, was not expecting that guy to get up and walk. Um Was this something else on this terminal that I can I can I can have a look at? Doesn't look like it. Um Really wasn't ex wasn't expecting that to be honest. Oh, I hate it when it auto saves. I hate it when... Oh. Okay, this time we were prepared for him. This time we were definitely, definitely prepared for him. Holy heck. Okay. We're getting there, but we're also running out of bullets. We've got two bullets left. Oh, God. Okay, so it looks... Oh, crap. Come on, drag that. Okay, so it looks like bullets are a very scarce commodity and I've just wasted everything I had. So now we've got to go back to the pipe method, which is quite effective. It is very effective. The pipe map method seems to be very effective. Now we're about to pick up more health. So I'm going to use some health at the moment. We're at 60. That gave us maybe about 20 20 health points which is great we've got another one now and boy oh boy is it dark ah bullets nice let's reload that okay looks like we can easily switch weapons by using the mouse wheel and for now with these corpses I think it's just easy enough Ooh, what's this what is this? M much cola. Okay, let's let's take this. Retrieve item. Done. It looks like with these guys, using the pipe is good enough for now, at least. We can easily switch to a gun if we ever need to, but boy oh boy, not having a lot of bullets is kind of problematic. Can I open this? Kind of wish I could use something else actually am i able if i swap that there no i lose my flashlight do i lose can i combine them no no i lose my flashlight oh well i kind of like the c so i'm going to keep my flashlight there oh and drop my gun apparently done the compact okay Let's head through the other way. We're getting our heads around this. I haven't played a 90 shooter in so long, and boy, oh boy, was not expecting that corpse to come alive. There's something there. Okay, looks like we could jump up here. No issues. Let's pick up a dialer pad. These things are relentless. Fucking unstoppable, but they can't, they can't seem to climb very well. I'll probably die up here. Okay, so good to know that they can't jump. Let's take that, that little cola he's had on him for a while. And that looks like an area that we haven't been to yet because it's got a whole bunch of health points that I kind of need. Uh, I guess let's check out these open doors. Bunk beds. Looks like this is almost like a jail cell to be honest. 
Okay, well... That explains... Oh, crap! Oh, crap! Why does he have a gun? Okay, looks like the gun is kind of important. What is an LMG? Heck yeah, I'm taking that. Thank you. And that's some bullets. Nice. Aha! Okay, looks like I can easily... Looks like I can easily switch weapons from uh, right hand and left hand by moving the scroll wheel and then right clicking or left clicking from there. Um, looks like we also need a blue nano card. We'll find someone some somewhere, but I, for now, for now, let's head on onwards. Oh boy. It's kind of weird having to swap between the weapons all the time. Oh, crap. Keep forgetting which button's which. So, alright, let's pick, let's retrieve. We've got LMG already. So, let's maybe just retrieve the ammunition from there. Uh, retrieve item, done. Let's leave the LMG as it is. I don't think our weapons break. We've got a few more health files, and what is this? What is that? IEC? Is that just a tag? Someone's tagged the place? Let's use a health file. Heal, heal up a little bit. And pick this data pad. Everyone's lost their minds. They're eating each other. Each other. Be Lars. There's someone over there. Okay, just gotta be careful. And make sure there's nothing down here as well. Yeah, I think, I think this pit's safe. Airlock. Aha, so this is where we were before. Looks like whoever was in here didn't quite make it. Cool, we didn't use any ammo that time. I think, I think we can make it. Okay, it's more coming. 79. Come on. I think we can sneak up this guy from behind. Nice. What's this? That's not a button. Oh, crap. We are doing... Okay, so far. Oh, ammo ignition. Thank you. What's this? A shock baton. Taking that. There's two corpses here. I'm trying to get the second one, which I don't think I can. All right, we're going to leave that for now and search some of these other corpses. Oh, crap. Okay. Okay, I'm still not great at uh, figuring out which button's which just yet. But again, this is a very interesting concept to have a 90 shooter using some modern, uh, some modern style tech, as well as oh, red key this time, as well as uh, a modern UI. The way they've done things is very reminiscent of the 90s. The whole blue and red keycard thing, especially. But at the same time, you've got some really cool... Really cool, sh cool shit going on, like the whole 3D aspect and... You know what? I'm losing my marbles. This is a 90s game wholeheartedly okay. This is a 90s game wholeheartedly. As much as I try to say this is a modernized game, it's not. This is a 90s game. We're going to heal up a little bit. It feels like a 90s game. It, uh, it runs like a 90s game. It's got some new ideas, new fangled ideas that have only recently 
come come to games or the game market. But other than that, this is pretty much a fully fledged 90s game, graphics and everything. Alright, so looks like we need the we've got the blue key card now, so let's head back and see whether we whether we can open that one door and hopefully none of these bodies come back to life. I have a funny feeling that I've dismembered them enough so they won't come back to life. Alright, here's where the blue key card needed to be. Okay. Okay, there's a guy there. And he burns. He really burns. I wonder why. Oh, there's barrels here. I must have shot one of the barrels. Okay, let's grab that. Oh, and use it, apparently. Looks like we're in some sort of reactor room. Yep, everything looks and checks out for now. The reactor looks to be operating. And boy, oh boy, do I have to go up or not? Can't really see anything here. Let's maybe grab the flash flashlight out. Okay, now we can see. Kinda. Oh boy. It's a, it's such a mix between a 90s game and a 2000s game that the movement's a bit choppy. Clay, Reactive 3 has been on the fritz since the disturbances. Yesterday, I won't let these pricks and admin pin this on our team again. Didn't read the last line in time. And boy, oh boy, is it dark. Uh, okay, it looks like no one else is up here, which is... I don't like the fact that there's blood, though. I heard a scream. Was that from the music? Okay, pretty sure that's where I came from. It looks like there's a little... Little hard candy in the middle there, which is interesting. Looks like I gotta go through here. Aha. Shotgun, eh? Let's have a look at this shotgun. Gun, it must be equipped in your left hand. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at this. This is good. Wait, do I shoot that thing? Is that what I need to do? Do I need to shoot that? Okay. Only one way to find out, right? Doesn't look like I need to shoot it and I've just wasted a bunch of bullets. Can't really pick it up either. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. This is a reactor, isn't it? I'm going to use a bullet and see what happens. That does absolutely nothing if I shoot the thing. Huh. Great. Let's go back down and see whether there's anything downstairs waiting for us. It's really dark to be to be honest. Okay, I like it. We need to get in there. I feel like we need to get in there. How do we get in there? There's... There's a thing in there. Okay, hang on. I think I got an idea. I think I got an idea. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I know what I'm doing. I think I know what I'm doing. Alright. So we go back through here. Into the reactor room. And we need to... I thought we sorted the power issue. Apparently not. There was another... There's a red room there. Great, okay. Is there something here? No. Alright, now I'm lost again. <laughs> Completely lost again. God damn it. Okay, we picked up the key from there. Nice. Maybe I'll go... Oh, crap. The number... The frequency at which... The thing... Changes... And lets me allows me to let it change. It's so slow. It's sorry, it's so quick. 
that by the time I actually click the thing so that I wanted to change, I end up shooting instead, it deselects my selection, which is bad, which is, not say bad, it's, it's unusually, it's un unusually unusual. All right, maybe we go back to the start. Maybe I'm missing something. Okay, is this door opening now? Why won't you open? Why won't you open? Okay, maybe we need to go somewhere else. I'm heading back all the way to the start. This is back to our ship. I don't see... Oh, hang on. If so, you don't punch. You don't punch the barrels. You shoot the barrels. This is a thing. You meant to come in here. Understood. Because apparently you get bullets. Is that it? We came all the way here just for bullets. Oh boy. On the bright side, you can jump really high, to be honest. That's incredibly high. There's a switch on the wall over there, and I wonder what it does. Huh. Kinda wish you could open open doors, or at least force doors to be opened. Okay, we're back here. That's another unopenable door. What is that? What was that action? All I did was hold down the reload function and that action happened. I right, are back here and I don't know why this thing is still not great. Okay. Safety first. Can't get there. Logged out. Lovely. None of these terminals work. Now, one thing about 90s game is that it's very sparse. You find these big corridors with nothing in them. Or at least, you know, you find these big corridors and big areas with, uh, with, with, with things or desks spread out. But otherwise, the floor is pretty empty. Okay, I've been through here. I've been through there. I'm missing something. I probably need to shoot something or do something. And I don't know what it is. So I come through here because I've got the blue thing. I've got the blue thing. And I come through. Oh. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see now exactly what I need to do. It's not so much the fact that... The fact that I need to come up here to push the button. Where is this thing? There it is. Fall into the pipes and there is something here. Oh. It's an arm. It's an appendage. Well. Great. You've cleared the obstruction. Sector 3 reactor is now online. That was an arm though. Hang on, wait, what? We can use the appendage as a... Okay, I'm using the appendage as a weapon then. Uh, but for now, we've got 22 bullets in the shotgun. I like the sound of that, 22 bullets in the... Oh, that's a big jump. I like the sound of 22 bullets in the shotgun. That, that appeals to me very much so. That appeals to me very, very much. Uh, looks like that's still there. So we've got to head, our, head back around. Kind of wish I could see where the light switches are and just turn everything on. There you go. Okay, now we can activate this switch. And we've opened the bulkhead. Nice. Oh, great. What have I, what have I opened up to? Lovely. Uh, looks like toxic gas, maybe, perhaps? Got some bullets. Looks like we can stand on the grill, which is nice. What's this? Recovery terminal. Welcome to IC Recovery Point Terminal. Okay. Select the file on the left. Uh, personal re Oh, this is a safe slot. Nice. We've saved. And then we just escape. Done. 
Ah, so this is the place we saw from the other side. So we've saved here. We can move on easy. Oh, boy. Thank God for shotguns. I like shotguns. And we've been hit four times, but at the end of the day, it all it's all worth it if we... Ooh. We get rid of all the corpses. That's not a corpse anymore, apparently. And this guy is missing. Hellvile. Now, I'm playing this really slow. For a 90s game, I'm really playing this really slow because I'm not sure what to expect. Plus, I'm not really that good in FPS titles. So, you've just got to bear with me, okay? Just bear with me one sec while I try and figure out what's what. And hopefully, hopefully explore everything without losing myself into the madness. There's a thing up there, but I'm not sure if I can get to it. I don't think I can jump that high. But I think there's a door that you can, can find your way around to, which is good. Where does this go? The barracks? I've got a bad... Oh, I've got a really bad feeling about this. Why was he on fire? Why was he on fire? Temperature. Okay, he's going down, but why was he on fire in the first place? That's locked. These guys have helmets on. That's why they take a few hits, apparently. Let's retrieve some ammunition. Nice. I am preferring the shotgun overall. Nuke cooler. Some slugs. Nice. Looks like I can't destroy that photo on the wall, which I don't know what it's for or what that picture is. Actually, I think I do, but I'm not just going to say it out loud. Nice. You've got a plasma gun of some sort. I want that. Let's drink this cola and see how much health it actually gives me. Nice. Oh, there you go. What's this? Short range pistol. The butcher. Energy pistol. Let's retrieve the item. And the ammunition. I like it. Let's see how well this bullet, this gun holds up. The butcher. 18 bullets. Not a lot of bullets, to be honest. But maybe we can mix this and match this up with the compact. Workstation, please enter credentials. Username Alexa41. Password. Incorrect. So it looks like we need to find some sort of password. Oh boy, that was that was painful. Let's grab the ammunition from this LMG. And everything from here. Retrieve ammunition. Retrieve item. Lovely. I don't think we need a million LMGs, do we? Let's take some bullets with us. We're running low on this ammo for the butcher, which is weird. Slugs. Slugs. I kind of want to use the shotgun again. I, I like the idea of the shotgun. So let's do that. New recruits, we're co welcome to com Commodus, where the future thrives. Advisory log, immediate threat. All units proceed to mid bay. Okay. Miscuse. It's finally the first three times, but the next recruit that flushes my keycard down the toilet is getting pistol whipped. So someone's flushed the keycard. So it tells me we need to find the toilets because that we might find the keycard there. Attention recruits, beginning me immediately. Reveal is now 3.30. Failure to summon at this time will result in disciplinary action. Rations for food. Russian policy will now reflect a strict policy on hypochondria. Huh. Credential advisory. All users must have cred credentials reset after Comnet Security Update 2.4. Your password now will now be Death Pass. Okay, so we've got a password now. Let's try Death Pass and see whether that works on this computer. Death Pass. Welcome back, Commander. Yay, we got in. View comms. Immediate threat. The med bay is a slaughterhouse. Requesting all units immediately. Unknown assailants being every bring everything you have, taking heavy casualties. 
Sorry for the late reply. The short answer to your question is yes, the public net is currently down, at least on the internal network. To be honest, I haven't received any communications from the outside system this week. I know it sounds crazy, but I feel like we're alone out here. Hello, Commander. The director has instructed us to investigate the mission missionaries from the temple system. They're currently showing pe penitents in the temple on the bio deck. They have not left the area since they arrived. Interesting. All right, so in other words, we've got some info now about what people have been up to and basically to avoid the med bay. The barracks may be fine, but the med bay might be full of people. Let's actually take all items this time. And I think, yeah, we've, we've got in that inventory. Let's discard that. Unload. Can I unload this and discard? Yeah. Okay. So we kind of have to remove, just take the bullets and not take the gun. That's unfortunate. Hit through the fire. Nice. One shot, one kill. Uh huh. Small metal pipe. Let's get the cola and drink that. We need a bit of health. That guy's kind of kind of frizzes out. Okay. Looks like let's just take the ammunition. Guy needs a shot key button shortcut key button to just retrieve the ammunition hey a, a key card red that's exactly what we're hoping for and in the cleanest toilet of the three as well great told you we'll find the key card somewhere let's go through this area this looks nice and safe it's got just got a little purpley haze oh crap okay i think we'll be fine now Done. That could have ended much, much worse. Let's retrieve the item. Actually, you know what? Look, we've been using a lot of the shotgun. I think it's time to use the LMG. We've got lots of bullet there. All right. So we've got the LMG and and what we're going to use in the other hand. Probably something for when they come up close and personal. Like an appendage let's say for example why is there so much blood in the ground so let's also use a health pack oh great where did he come from retrieve the ammunition and the thing okay so you can double click to retrieve stuff that's nice nice to know retrieve ammunition double click to retrieve that there's a corpse here. It's got some slugs. Nice. And a health pack. He could have used it. He could definitely have used the health pack. What do we just... What's that? Bullets. Nice. Can't really see anything up here. Except now it's turned into a parkour. Let's first go through this room. This looks like it's a yellow keycard room. Let's not go through that room then. Can't remember where the red keycard room was. Does anyone remember where the red keycard room? So I surely can't. Ah. We go through here. It seems rather dark. Where's my flashlight? Oh. More shotguns. Discard. I like the shotgun. As much as I like the shotgun. Okay, there's a guy down there. Probably won't go there just yet because I'm not sure if I can come back. Aha. Uh -huh. There's a guy up here. Oh, dang. We missed. Is there any other way up? No, I've got to, got to take the long way. Which is up this way. Ah. Eh. So. We're playing parkour now. In the 90s game, we're playing parkour. Oh, fudge. Missed again. Missed again. 
kind of miss makes me miss miss doom and by doom i mean the new doom doom eternal and the other doom 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 the 2014 doom i think it was could be wrong okay this place looks clear now that's the that's just a blood spat spatter got some slugs and a supply cabinet full of a health valve. Nice. Can I see what's in these guys? No. They're a little bit too far. Alright. Let's keep on going through. We can't go through there, but we could go through the vent. Alright, we're about to go through the vent and make sure. We've really got to make sure. I think we can shoot the guy from here. Yeah, we could. Easy. Door to the bar barracks is locked. That's weird. Where does this take you? This is the barracks. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I came from there. No, I came from here. Sorry, I came from here. Hang on. Oh. So now there are people here. This is weird. Good to know. Okay. Well, in that case, I just got to be careful when I backtrack then. Because apparently if you backtrack, things reappear. Can't get up there, which is good, I guess. That took a few more hits than I like to admit. Nice. Well, let's just make another save, just in case. We saved. Okay, this LMG is starting, starting to... I'm starting to enjoy the LMG a lot more. But we just gotta pick, remember to pick up bullets. And hopefully... Oh boy, that was, that was painful. We've got 73 health. I think we can heal up just a little bit. Retrieve some ammunition from these guys. And there's the red door. Oh. Crap. Oh, we're getting shot from all angles. Oh boy. Okay. That was a that's starting to get a little bit more intense. I see I see what's going on now. Oops. And as much as I like to say, I kind of want to have two guns side by side. I do enjoy being able to see things. Oh, what's the sound? What's the sound mean? Let's pick up all the ammo we need because I feel like there might be a mini boss coming up soon. Gut feel tells me there's a mini boss. There's a mini. There's no way a game like this doesn't have a mini boss. And boy, oh boy, I'm having a tough time getting up here. Corpses. Oops. Cash. Yellow key card. Hey, we've got the yellow key card. We can go back to uh, go back to the area now, but. So uh, let's see what else is here. Nothing is dead end. It's a dead end with the sound effect. Good to know. There's another sound effect. Oh boy, there's music now. This is this is this is This is making me nervous. Let's save. I can still see why it's in early access. Look, there's certain things that need a bit of polishing up. Just like how the movements and everything just need a little bit more polishing. It's nice. It's good. It works. But I feel like there's some inconsistencies with 
the mouse settings. It could just be me. I could be wrong, but I think there's some inconsistencies with how how fast the mouse moves. The mouse moves in certain scenarios compared to the others. Um, it'll be nice to be able to attach the flashlight onto one or two different weapons. But uh, at the end of the day, she's the ambience. Just the ambience here. Oh boy, a lift. At the end of the day, it'd be nice to be able to see where you're going. So like a flashlight that's on your person that uh, you can use and use a gun at the same time without having to use up an entire hand slot, ideally. But it's got all the makings of the original Quake. And by Quake, I mean Quake and Quake 2. As well as Return to Castle Wolfenstein. It's got all the same vibe. The same 90s retro vibe as those games. Look at that. We've got enemies straight off the bat. Can't even save or anything like that. Oh boy, I'm not going to enjoy this now, am I? Oh, crap. Let's just make sure. Let's just bring out another gun. Like, for example, the pistol. The compact. And just do a double click every time we see an enemy. done and headshots are very very welcomed in this game very very welcomed let's take some ammunition take the healing pot let's take a lot of ammunition and of course the cola hit the save arena button because we can We've done 48 minutes, I know. But it feels like there's a boss coming up soon. Why did I fall into the hole? Never. Oops. Never tie yourselves down by falling into a hole. Nice. Okay. It's got Shadow Warrior 1 vibes as well, I must admit. If only this, this main character could talk. Oh, headshot. And double reload. That's the only downside at the moment. The double reload when both my guns are empty. I'm, I'm vulnerable. I'm at the mercy of the enemies in order not to die. Just because I'm trying to reload both guns at the same time. Cage match. Headshot. Nice. Retrieve and pick that up. Access detention center. Oh, that doesn't sound good. If everyone's turned to a zombie, the most hardened criminals will be in the detention center. So that won't be good for me. Just picking up as much ammunition as I can. I almost want to kind of use two LMGs to be honest because we've just got that much ammunition, LMG ammunition. 192, look at that, plenty. But that's okay, we're happy to use whatever ammunition we've got now. What's this? What is this place? Unusual terminal, three digit code, we don't have one. That's locked. That goes on to the admin hall. Okie dokie. We're just going to leave this place behind. And see whether it's worth it getting into the detention center by the looks of it. I guess down we go. We don't take any fall damage, which is good. Wonder what that sound is, that beeping sound every single time. Okay. Could use some cola right about now. The cache. The butcher. We picked up the butcher. Let's discard that. We don't need two of them now, do we? It'd be nice to have. If we can conserve the ammo. Okay. More enemies down here. Took him by surprise. And shot off his head before he could shoot us. Retrieve ammunition. Done skis. Alright. 
Oh, crap. Just had to reload at that particular point in time. All right, into the detention center we go. But unfortunately, that's all the time I've got for today. Thanks, everyone, so much for watching. This is Hyperviolence, still currently available on the July of 2024's Humble Choice Bundle. Go check it out if you enjoy retro games. I, I, I'm, I'm on the fence about this one. I personally am on the fence on this one. I played 90s games back when, back in the 90s, and I'm on the fence with this one because, well, I guess I outgrew them. It's not because this is a bad game. I just feel like I outgrew all these 90 shooters. I enjoy more tactical, where there's a little bit more weight behind your punch, if you understand what I'm talking about. But uh, if you're into these 90 shooter mobs, I highly recommend this. This this brings back some nostalgia. It's it's almost as though I'm playing a very modernized 90s game. It is quite literally that. I'm playing a modernized 90s game look at that we've got a stamina bar and everything i don't recall having a stamina bar back in the 90s anyways thanks so much for watching me play hyper violent don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you saw and want to see more and i'll catch you guys in the next video thanks bye